Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to show you an old time crooked tune with a great story behind it. So, Santiana's Retreat. First of all, I'm going to tell you the story. Um, Santiana was the Mexican general who beat the Americans at the Alamo. Um, they, they won that battle, but they didn't win the war, and the Mexicans were in retreat. And this is a tune that's said to have been played as they were retreating. Now, Alan Jabour tells this story in a wonderful video uh, of him playing it. And uh, he points out that um, it seems a bit unlikely that this tune would have been played by the Mexican army because it sounds very much like a, an Irish uh, tune rather than a Mexican tune. Um, and strangely he was right. Um, and, and you think, okay, that's the end of the story, until you realise that there was in fact a St. Patrick's Brigade of Irish soldiers down in Texas. And... Um, they asked to join the American army and were refused, probably because they were Catholics and were therefore not to be trusted. And so they joined the Mexican army instead and they fought and um, they helped to win that battle. But um, at some point in the future, I'm not sure when exactly, they were captured by the Americans and hanged as traitors, which seems grossly unfair under the circumstances. But anyway, uh, this is the, the tune and it's crooked. Uh, which means that um, the bars don't quite add up, and we'll come to that in a minute. So I'm just going to lead you through the first part of the tune. So it's got a lead in. After two, one, two. <laughs> That is the crooked bit because what we're doing is um, we're ending and then we're adding the lead in to the beginning, making a 6 4 bar. And this is, um, I, I've actually got a video all about crooked tunes and I try to explain what some of them are all about. And this is a case of having a cake and eating it because it's a good lead in um, and it's a good ending. So what you've got is the ending and the lead in. Um, both squeezing the way into a bar instead of one bit replacing the other bit. <laughs> You've got both added together. So I'll go through it and I'll repeat and then we'll carry on to the B part. Notice that the, um, the B part is four bars repeated four times. Some people only play it twice. And if you were to play it four times, as I just did then, I think I would try and find just a little variation for the third and fourth time. And one possible variation you could have is to do a, a pizzicato on the E. So I'm, uh, I'm doing the pizzicato with my second finger, which uh, for people who have never seen that is quite a nice uh, neat little trick, uh, for people who have seen it it's not so great. But anyway, uh, I think it's uh, to do four times round exactly the same phrase is a little bit too much, so I just find some little variation. Let's play the whole thing again um, with the backing.
that the first time we do the end of the first section, we've got the 6-4 bar, but the second time when it's leading into the B section, it's a 4-4 four, four bar. And uh, if you're playing this for the first time with someone else, an accompanist, and they're not familiar with it, then make sure you point that out, because otherwise you'll find yourself uh, half a bar apart all the way through the second half of the tube, which will be interesting for everyone concerned. Um, there's a few places where you can do drones on double stops. You can do A's under that. You could put a B under the G. Don't forget we've got C sharp here. And here, uh, drones. string drone, then B part, quite a few of E drones there. So, I hope you enjoyed this tune. Uh, it's worth playing this tune just for the story, really. Um, and uh, if anyone is prepared to tell me why it's pronounced Santi Anna when it's written Santa Anna, then I'd be glad to know. Um, I'm sure it's nothing to do with Santa Claus. Uh, so, um, I'm going to play it one more time. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want a copy of the dots, then uh, subscribe, send me an email to my email address at the bottom of the description below. And I'll see you again in the next one.